Well, all right, I got that uh, six inch uh, three jaw chuck mounted there. And uh, I got the body running within two thousandths. Uh, the front part's a little bit lumpy, but you know, this chuck's uh, probably 50 years old. Um, but it's good. And I checked the pinions after getting the body running true. I got this bar in here and I've gone over the pinions and tightened it and found which one has the least run out. And it's this one here. Let's see if I can show you. It's doing really good. There we go. Let's have a look here. I can rotate this. Uh, so there, get that on zero. Just about two thousands, which is really good. And then it's, uh, it's not bad. Let's get this back over here. It's not bad out here either. So it's actually pretty good. But I'm going to use this chuck quite a bit. Yeah, let's see, it's about four thousandths here. And um, I can correct it to a point, just pushing down on it. Let's see what it's doing now. To about three thousandths. So I could I could definitely tweak that true by pushing down on it and giving it a little tap. But uh, one of the problems I have here, I'm going to go ahead and regrind these jaws. And uh, the reason I'm going to do that, I'll show you. Now, when they start getting worn a little bit, they wear at the front because, well, myself, I'm grabbing a lot of small parts, you know, screws, you name it. I'm doing stuff up front here. So it tends to wear the jaws out up front. So I, I got this bar in here. It's an old uh, counter shaft out of a transmission. And it's ground. It's getting scratched up, but it's, it's still pretty true. So I'll take and uh, just rotate this and tighten it until it stops right there. Now I can take and shake this. You can't hear it, but it's uh, rattling quite a bit. Maybe I can put the uh, um, indicator on there and you can see that. See? Now as I tighten that up, it'll of course improve. See, but it's still grabbing more at the back of the jaw than the front. And I wanted to grab more at the front of the jaw instead of the back. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that by loading. Okay, now this is the grinder I'm going to use here. And it's um, a shop built, home built affair here. And uh, I'm using what's available. And uh, what's available is quite good. And this is a Sioux valve seat grinding wheel that I threaded an arbor to mount on this grind internal grinding spindle. And I like to use about as uh, large a stone as I can get in there. So, I will load the jaws with that uh, ring device there, the three ring device. It's an OEM type tool that a truck manufacturer used. It was shown on an old newsreel, World War II newsreel, America Goes to War. A very short <laughs> glimpse of that thing. So, it's documented. I didn't invent it, and it's the best way to do it that I've found. Okay, here's my grinder here. I, uh, it's got a, oh, what is it, 3450 RPM half horse ball door single phase motor on it. I, uh, all these, these flat pulleys run true. I make these, um, uh, belts myself. 
out of micro group belts. I uh, can set this uh, and another motor up on the bench and turn these things this side up and run them at such a speed that I can sand those grooves off. These are extremely low cost and extremely available. I don't have to wait, order, nothing. I can, I can fab one of these out in an hour. And then it lasts for years. I usually put a date on things. How long ago did I make this? 1995. So they, they do last quite a while. Okay, so I fabricated this spindle. It's got precision bearings in it. I'm going to be making more spindles because there's a lot of things I do with the tool post grinder. Um, the Cincinnati number no. two um, cutter grinder has some slots in it and mounts, and I can mount a tool post grinder on here and have a tilting head and extended spindles, anything I want. That's one of the problems with uh, these old cutter grinders is uh, <clears throat> extending a stone out. I'll get more into that later, but I solved it with this. Okay, let's, uh, let's fire this thing up. Okay, it's running really about 10,000 with this uh, toy and setup here. And it's really running quite smooth. So I'm going to be back here pretty quick and we'll do the actual grind and uh, I'll show you how to set it up and the stunning results. Okay, be back. You guys have a good day.